guys, Brian here from Liquid Concept. So today we're gonna talk a little bit about helmets. So I uh, had a customer send in a helmet and so we thought we'd do a quick little video on it and I'm sure you guys are really gonna enjoy this because it is definitely gonna be a one of a kind, more of a unique helmet and so we figured we'd go ahead and shoot a video on it. So um, what we've got here is we've already got a stripe going right down the middle of it because we're gonna be dipping this helmet. It has to be done in two dips to make it look the best and so whenever I say the best, more or less, uh, we don't have a lot of stretch going all the way down into here because if we started this the dip right here and then we started coming down with it as it came down and as, as it wrapped around this entire object it's going to have a lot of stretch and so uh, what we do to minimize that is we will take and we'll half the dip so then that way we have this part and so then that way you have a little bit of stretch maybe right in these areas right in here not a lot but it's a lot better for the overall look of it whenever you have just a little bit of stretch like right in here and maybe a little bit right in here. Other than that, you're good to go. Um, and so especially with this one right here being on a carbon fiber, we definitely wanna make sure that we try to minimize that stretch as much as possible. So that way we try to keep it looking just like a carbon fiber would. So um, like I said, we've already painted uh, the stripe down here. We've taped it off. Uh, we actually do have some text right in here that we taped off as well. So then that way, uh, as we're going ahead and after we dip it, we're gonna go ahead and shoot some candy on it. After we shoot some candy on it, then we're gonna start peeling off all the stripes, clear it, and then you guys will see the end result. But um, I think you're really gonna enjoy it. But uh, so let's go ahead, let's get this thing ready to go for the dip and uh, we'll show you guys how we do helmets, so stay tuned. All right, so let's get this thing prepped and ready to go for dipping on the first side. So what we've got is we've got some paper right here with our tape already on it. And so all we're gonna do on this part right here is mainly just cover up all of the one side. Now the good thing is because we already have a stripe going right down the middle, we can pretty much just tape it right down through here. Uh, it doesn't have to be anything extravagant or look pretty or following a certain line. You just mainly just want to tape it on the tape itself. And then of course, this right here on this side, we'll take this, fold that down. And of course you can see we've already got everything taped off on the underside as well. So we'll fold this like that. And then now that'll be ready to go. So again, just as a precautionary, we're gonna take some tape right here and mainly just kind of tape this down just so that way it doesn't come up or anything like that. Um, but pretty much that right there, it's all blocking this entire part right here that we've already painted. And this right here is going to be the part that we're gonna be dipping. So now that we've got all of that, we'll double check everything. Everything does look good. So now let's go ahead, we'll get some uh, film laid out get it on the water and get to dipping. So as you can probably see, it's definitely going in a carbon fiber. Um, this is our CF-282. Uh, I'm sure you've probably seen a lot of videos on this before. And um, it's a really well behaved pattern. Uh, it works really well, it stretches really well. Um, it's probably one of our most popular carbon fibers. Uh, also, we'll put a link in the description below on where you can get this. And of course, if you have any questions, concerns, give us a call, we'll be more than happy to help you out with it as well. Um, so, let's get, I swear I can never find my knife. All right, so on something like this right here, we're gonna allow a little bit more room than what we need just to be able to fit this all the way down in the water. So of course we'll leave a couple of inches over right here and then a couple of inches over right here. So we'll go ahead and just cut it like right here. And then of course, same thing with this, we'll probably cut it somewhere about in this area right here. So um, again, it's one of those things where this is a little bit more than probably what we do need, but it'll be more than enough to uh, to do for this right here on the first dip. And I also want to try to make sure that I prevent as much stretching as possible as it's going around the object. So that's kind of why I'm also cutting a little bit more on the film itself to help alleviate some of that stretch. So let's go ahead and get this set in the water and then get this dipped. 
So we'll lay it down corner to corner and then out just like that. We'll start our timer, of course, one minute at 80 to 90 degrees. Right now we're sitting at about 82, so that's gonna be just fine for what we need. So now we'll get some gloves on, we'll let it sit, and then we'll get started spraying, so stay tuned. So everything looks glassed out, looks exactly the way that we want it. So now we're going to take this and just slowly go right down into the water with it. So first dip we've got, looks really good. Looks like we got a good hit all the way around. So we'll throw it in the rinse station, get it to start rinsing, and then we'll come back, we'll tape off this side again, and then do the complete opposite on the other side, and then get started again with it. And then uh, once we do that, throw some candy on it, get some clear on it, and show you guys the end results, so stay tuned. Okay, so this is not the actual helmet that we were dipping originally, but wanted to go ahead and show you guys uh, the other side of it. It's the uh, exact same helmet, but we're doing it in a different design, but everything is the exact same. So as you can see in the video here, all we've done is we have just taped up the side that we've already dipped and we already have the side that is painted. So all we're doing is, is just dipping the other side. So that way we can get the carbon fiber on both sides. And then after we get it all dipped, we'll throw it in the rinse station, uh, get the tape off of it, get all the paper off of it. And then of course, rinse it, do any touch ups, and then um, we'll start our candy or clear coat or whatever we need to do at that point. All right, so we got everything out of the paint booth and now we're pretty much ready for final assembly. Wanted to show you guys the video of how it looks after it's all clear coated. Uh, we've got the name on the back of it. We've got the custom candy color on the top of it. And of course the stripe showing and everything's ready to go other than just put the um, mask and, or I'm sorry, the lens on it and of course untape it. So um, as you can see, we've got our candy all the way around. Um, this is going to be our heavenly blue that we have. Um, lighter color for sure than what our normal like killer cobalt is, but definitely gives it a really nice blue color. And so uh, we came back here, we uh, did the customer's name on the back of it right here. So came out really good. And of course we've got nice gold candy stripe coming right down the middle of it uh, to help tie everything together. So then that way there's not a definite line of where the dip is going to be, be matching up. But now it has a nice little line all the way around the front and the back of it. And as you can tell coming on around, we have the candy all around through here, looking really beautiful. And um, of course you can see, we've got our lines matching up as close as we can. Inevitably, it's never going to match up 100% from edge to edge like this, but uh, does look really good. And I think the customer is definitely going to love it. So um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I know we always do. If you have any questions or comments, definitely leave them below. We'd love to hear from you on anything you got, uh, hydrographics related, candy related, or even uh, dipping a helmet or just anything in general. We'd love to hear from you on it. Um, also, if you haven't already, definitely hit the subscribe button. We'd love to have you subscribe to our weekly tips and tricks on anything hydrographics related. I'm Brian from Liquid Concepts, and this is how we customize your world. We'll see you guys next time.